Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is our vanilla run with no expansions, no DLC, and everything has that lovely, sickly, greenish hue of Toxic Fallout. We're five days in, and no end in sight yet. I could probably, you know, if I Google or check the wiki, which I still have open from checking uh, things before, if I look up Toxic Fallout, I wonder if it tells us an approximate... Doo -doo -doo. Oh, it lasts between 2.5 and 10 days. Okay. Well, that's not bad, actually. I thought it was 10 to 20 days as a range, but apparently 10 days is the, the higher end of things. So it could end any time. We're about in the middle right now. Well, not quite in the middle of the range, but yeah. I did decide to make a little closet here for the uh, cam fuel. So if it, for some reason it does explode for some reason, um, it'll be a little covered. One thing I might want to do is we have power conduits over there. We don't, good. Because zut can happen anywhere. There's a power conduit and I might not want one in the wall right next to the cam fuel. If we do this, it's probably safe. It's probably overkill, especially a limestone door, which is slow. I just saw the screen shake. Did something explode somewhere? I wonder if a boomlope died somewhere. It could be the case. Oh, we have this steel just sitting around here too. Okay, so we have access to steel, although it's not in the home zone currently. So we couldn't reach it if we wanted to. Yeah, I hate seeing all the grass dead. Oh. Yeah, we are getting uh Yeah, toxic buildup caused it to die. And these are all probably super sick. Yeah, see, extreme. All this wildlife was all gonna die. I wonder if it rots instantly. When did it die? Can I see that? Four hours ago. Yeah, and it already rotted. Or it's rot, it says rotting, but it, it looks all dark like it has rotted. And I'm just wondering if things that die from the toxic fallout, if they're inedible or not. I unforbid it, but it doesn't actually matter because it's outside of our allowed area for now. Hello, Chem Fuel. All right. Well, we can leave it out there for now. And it will it will decay because it's on a roof, but I don't think it'll happen that quickly. And I don't want people... Where the hell are you going? Oh, you're finally hauling from over here. Hey, there we go. There's our... I guess these incendiary shells that I have over here. Wait, did you just store them indoors? Oh, incendiary! That's not what I'm using. I'm using high explosive. Incendiary shells set fire to the area. They can actually be quite fun. And actually, you do have to set, um, you have to say what you're going to be loading these with. By default, I think they just grab whatever's closest that's allowed. I'm going to set these to high explosive. I'm going to copy the setting and apply it to both of these. Um, the EMP ones are actually really handy for some mechanoid stuff, especially if they're shielded. You can use the MPs to knock out like the shield that covers the area that the mechanoids are hanging out in. Uh, and then that knocks down the shield, and then you can use the high explosive to do damage. Um, on this map, the incendiaries could be interesting because it could set fire to a bunch of like grassy area and stuff like that. If there is like a mechanoid cluster or a um, a siege like this, but generally, I personally just use the high explosives. That doesn't mean that's the right solution. In fact, I'm probably wrong. For, uh, I actually, for a long time, I hated on mortars. They're they're really inaccurate, so it can feel very frustrating. Um, when they, they miss a lot, but I have come to realize that, okay, no, mortars are actually really handy and very useful to use. Um, in normal RimWorld, vanilla RimWorld, your mortars do not look at your skill. Uh, they not they don't use any skill whatsoever um, to handle the fire. I think, however, there is a, an impact from sight. Yeah, mortar miss multiplier over here. Um, wait. Yeah, see, shooting, zero. It doesn't use, I don't believe it, it calculates a shooting skill. It's listing in here. It does care about manipulation and sight. I think there might be an option. I can't remember. I know there's mods that re-enable re it. I thought there might have been like some option somewhere to like put back the old mortar behavior, but I might be dreaming about it. But there are certainly are mods that make it so it uses the shooting skill or intellectual skill, which I think is actually fair. Like, oh, you can use, it's not about like your dexterity. It's about calculating angles. I'm like, oh, that's kind of fair. But yeah, so by default, you don't want to put in like a one-armed, one-eyed guy to run the mortar, but otherwise you're okay. Yeah, there was another explosion. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they're boom rats that are dying from the toxic fallout. Yeah, turkey down here. Be I thought it said beer brought it away. I'm like, how does that happen? All right, yeah. The animal culling. 
Mr. Oh, Darcy's just cleaning over here, which is fine. Um, I include some blood. One of the things, if you floor your barn, so if some animals, so it doesn't apply to uh, dogs and things, but most of your animals, I don't know if it's listed as something specific in here, but are like dirt producing slash, oh, here we go, filth rate. See this? Um, so these animals count as generated generating filth just by walking on things. Uh, so, you know, cows be pooping. Um, and so if you keep them in an indoors in an area with a floor, they will constantly generate um, filth, which is not ideal. So um, as long as they're on like dirt floors or stone like this, it doesn't matter. But the other thing you can do if you do want to floor things is you can do a straw matting over here. Um, and it's nice and yeah, it accepts very little filth. So what we can do is we can do this, put a little flooring in here because it'll, it'll feel good, it'll look nice. It uses some of your hay. But yeah, don't put like stone flooring where your barn animals will go. Whereas if we compare to Kiwi, which I just realized, I hope Kiwi's doing okay, not spending too much time outdoors. Yeah, no health problems. I forgot you're missing a tail, aw. But if we look here, filth rate 1.0. So, you, you know, you generate a little bit of dirt, but I think 1.0 is the same as our, our humans over here. All, all people generate, you know, they throw a little bit of garbage away. Um, you know, Kiwi sheds. You know, theoretically, Kiwi is house trained, so they're pooping outside. But, you know, yeah, there's still gonna be a little dirt on their paws or the bottom of their shoes. So 1.0 is normal. It's the same as every normal pond, every regular pond. All right, yeah, I'm happy about the storage. And yeah, we're no longer overfilled here. We may wanna do, I'm not worried right now about switching people's guns. I guess Fob doesn't have a gun because you were arrested. That is true. How's your shooting? Hmm. Maybe we give you a sniper rifle. So we got normal quality. Um, I don't think the hit point on guns changes their damage. We can compare. The sniper rifle here is at 90. 25 damage. So 25, 38, 88. 25, 38, 88. Yeah. So that's a 90% gun and an 80% gun. They have the same stats. Um, but the quality matters for guns. I don't think their hit points do. But yeah, let's go ahead and give Fob a sniper rifle. Just to say someone's got it. And mostly I just want to make sure everyone's armed with something. So yeah, the problem with, not Honey, because she can't attack. You can have her hold a gun, but she won't use it. Um, the problem with having mixed guns like this is you don't have a preferred engagement range. On the other hand, having one or two long range people in a group to do some early sniping, and then having other people with high damage per second weapons, not a bad idea. And again, our hunter, so Darcy's our hunter. I do think, uh, the assault rifle is probably pretty good for hunting as well. I'm, I'm okay with this. Sniping can actually be slow with, oh yay, toxic fallout ended. All right. And we instantly get a psychic chip. Well, let's unrestrict everyone over here. Psychic ship. And, ooh, you're quite guarded. Okay, they're only scythers? All right. So scythers are melee. They do a lot of damage when they get in range to melee. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a long engagement range. I'm going to get ooh, under security. Get a barricade. Uh, do I want to do like, you know, I might want to do the half and a half barricade actually. So we're going to set up like way over here. Set up that. Chop you. We're just going to do wood. We don't need it to be durable. We just need it to go up fast. remember if they're going to trigger from construction or anything like that. I think it's going to be... I'm going to build this first, and then I'm going to try to put some traps in front of it. Because, yeah, the scythers will just try to run up and melee us. What are you hauling? Oh, man. I guess those are all unforbidden. Actually, speaking of, let me make sure unforbid everything, which might involve moving some corpses. I suppose I don't want to allow rotten... Sometimes I turn that on just because if for some reason we end up with a rotten corpse somewhere else, I want that. But yeah, now I want that disabled so rotten corpses don't get stored there anymore. Angie's resistance finally got broken. That's good. It actually is fairly convenient that it's not too far from the base. We can also use the mortar. Actually, in hindsight... 
actually really salty. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was down here that this landed. I don't want this here at all. Instead, yeah, I want a light, nice long range of engagement. Because what's going to happen are snipers. So Fob's an example, actually, of our sniper. We check Fob's range. Does it only show me on a draft? Oh, there's the radius. I'm like, why can't I see the radius? Yeah, it's because it's too freaking far away. So yeah, Fob's going to be able to stand here and start plucking away at it and cause them to enrage. But we could also use our mortars to do the same thing. And we might do that. Put a little hunt on this turkey to finish it up. There you go. Oh yeah, and it rotted instantly. Probably because it had toxic buildup. See, this turkey had dementia, that was a result of the toxic buildup. I guess if I just left it there, I might have been able to rescue the turkey, you know. Or if you just left it there, unless it starved to death, eventually it would recover from the toxic fallout and then probably be fine to eat. I don't know if that used to be the case where it would insta-rot things with fallout. Seems fair, though. Okay, right, so this thing is generating psychotrones. Right now we got a low female psychotrone. That's bad because most of our group is female. So right now they have, what is it, like minus 12? It's some pretty potent mood debuff. Yeah, minus 12. And that's going to get worse over time. Also, some of our people are still debuffed from being sick. Wow, you got all the way up to moderate. Oh, I didn't realize that, honey. I'm sorry. You must have been spending extra time in the fields. Damn. So yeah, right now moods aren't great. Also, um, the toxic fallout leads to consciousness debuff, which hurts basically everything you do. It does not going to matter for honey because she's not going to fight. But the others, they won't be as accurate with that. But most people were actually fine. Most people didn't surround, sit around and get a lot of toxic fallout. Darcy's going on a food binge. That's not a great time for that, Darcy. But I guess we're waiting for this to go up. We do have a couple of days. I don't know what the timing is. We do have a few days before it gets worse. We do have some EMP grenades here. So what we could do is we could have uh, one or two people maybe move a little closer, say one person here, one person here, and then just grenade these guys to keep them stunned. I don't know how I want to deal with this. If we get this below 50%, they should start to attack us. Combat supplier. Where are you going to path there, caravan? I wonder if we path out. I don't think we can get help from these guys, unfortunately. But we will be able to sell some weapons. Darcy, I know you're sick. So we'll get the message again that, like, oh, it's not as effective. That's okay. Um, I got a bunch of money right now. Let's consider maybe buying all their medicine. I'm going to sell the incendiary shells because I'm not playing. I guess I don't have a lot of high explosives, so I probably couldn't just do that. I'm going to keep the reinforced barrels for more, make more mortars. Your mortars can only be used for so long as well, um, and then they uh, they have to be fixed up again. Let's sell these. Maybe I'll keep this good one. I'll keep the sniper rifles for now. Uh, no reason to keep the poor flak vest, especially that has, like, the, this, uh, let's compare these numbers. 80% sharp versus 100% sharp. Yeah, see, it may, that's a big difference with that poor one. Sell that helmet now, finally. Buy a marine helmet. Now, this is pretty good. We have enough money for it. If we had a melee-er, I would get a shield belt. But we don't. Like, we don't have a brawler. Shield belt you can't shoot with. But it's great to put on a melee person. And melee's very strong in this game. If you get shield belts and some good meleeers with, like, like, you can actually rip people apart. I think I'll just do this. So we're taking most of their silver and their medicine. And seems fine to me. Now, we could try to drop a few shells on their heads. Animal flu, cow bolt. Yeah, they'll be okay. They can be treated. We've bought enough medicine now. If anyone gets hurt, even if it's a minor thing, I'm going to go and put them on like full proper medicine. How do I want to deal? I don't want to start anything until Darcy's snapped out of it. Because they're male, I think what we can do is we can sort of pew pew them, run away. Pew pew them, run away. We don't have auto door tech, do we? 
because it would be very convenient to be able to run through that. You know what? Okay, I'm going to switch the research over to Autodor Tech uh, very quickly because it'll happen fast. Um, I want the We're nearly done the recon armor, but we have to build all the armor, right? So don't freak out that, oh my god, we're nearly done the recon armor. Again, we do, it doesn't lose our progress. And just finishing this isn't going to immediately help us. But if I make this into an auto door, actually, let me plan on getting a, well, I guess we got a double wall most of it. Screw it. I'm going to do this anyway. Um, yeah, we won't, we're not going to have to worry about things smashing through there as much either because it's going to be, we're going to make it out of steel. It's going to be a lot more sturdy. Okay. Who's our researcher? Oh, it's Bort. Who's asleep? Well, get up, Bort. I need you to get some auto door tech for us. Can I run two researchers? I could get Paolo. Paolo does so many other good things. It is quite nice to have two researchers and burn through it a lot faster. But Paolo's just too useful at other things right now. <gasps> we did get NG. Hello, NG. Welcome to the party. Okay. So, I think we're going to use you for crafting. I mean, you can also construct, which is good. Okay. Le Bray, let, let's bring, let's reset all the hauling. Actually, I'm going to set all the hauling and cleaning to a four, which is normally where we're going to want it. Huh. Okay, with Berg, really, it is going to be mine first, then construct second. That's going to be okay. Honey is still our grower and plant cutter. Even though you don't have passion for it, and then you can craft as a secondary, that's going to be okay. Vort's basically researching all the time. So you're fine there. Lebray. Yeah. Unless we make you a full-time artist, you're pretty much going to be a crafter. Paolo basically cooks all the time. What I might do is bring this down. We can... Um, oh, yeah. Because I'm not running the no authors mod, I guess I do want this disabled. So really cook... And if you, if you can't cook, if you're fully cooked for some reason, work on your art. And Paul is, Paul is going to be busy a lot. There's going to be a lot of cooking to do, um, and then occasionally sneaking in some artwork. This is going to keep Paolo busy forever. If for some reason you've there's no one currently researching, maybe because Wart's asleep, I guess you could do that. And otherwise you'll haul. Yeah, you're good there. And Darcy, Darcy never has enough to do, unfortunately. Um, but what can you do about that? So... All the roles are really filled. I get the thing is we usually do want more crafting. It's hard to argue with more crafters. There's usually something to do. I suppose what I could do, because no, I was gonna say what I could do is put NG on construct into craft. Okay? I could do this. Because usually when there's construction, I want it to happen fairly quickly. And you're pretty good at it. The problem is FOB doesn't really have anything else going on with their life. So I'd rather have them really focus on as much construction as possible. Keep the high skill over here. You can practice that. When you're idle, like maybe you can go cut some blocks or make chem fuel, or you can do some hauling. That's going to be okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Smith, Taylor, craft if you can, because you're very good at it. In fact, what I might want to do, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Labray smithing down to a three. Um, and I guess I can bring... Uh, Angie's tailoring down to a three because there's authorship this way there's not going to be as many unfinished products of the same thing Labray is mostly going to do the tailoring and therefore most of the tailoring unfinished job will be owned by Labray and that's going to be great Angie's going to do most of the smithing so most of the unfinished smithing jobs will belong to Angie which is again going to be great for keeping things clean so we got a couple of uh, oh let me go well, first of all I'm going to cancel that jacket job because we never want those um, I'm going to we're th basically through winter I'm going to cancel this that parka bulk job i'm going to keep the parka job suspended for now i'm going to do normal stuff so actually there's not going to be anything for you to do i guess i can cancel that but yeah and then we'll, we'll just babysit this is the unfinished things set to important yeah that's good we'll just babysit that one thing i can do actually is i can make a, some bed rolls because i did sell a few the lower quality ones and we've got some cloth let me go and run a few of those okay definitely ng is going to be very useful how's your shooting bad nimble if you are going to do a mailer if they can be nimble that's great but let's go and give you um range is good but i'm going to equip this because it is a good shotgun and yeah we're mostly we're going to wait till darcy's finished her break and then recovered from it 
And also, yeah, if we can get an auto door here so we can quickly run through back and forth, that's going to be really nice. I also wouldn't mind a little flooring over here just to make sure there's no trees, plus you move faster. I think I'm going to switch to concrete. It's not pretty, but it builds really fast, doesn't use much material. And in fact, I'm going to like road out to here. It's going to be fine in general, just to get a little more speed, but it's going to be great short term. I suppose it can just be a straight line, actually. It's going to be nice short term for my little plan here of a bit of a hit and run. In fact, I'll make this go all the way here and maybe even leave it here. We can have a little like little concrete paths throughout our area. This is going to make a bunch of home zones, which will need to be ignored. Okay, item stash. That's okay. We're going to live without it. We got, we got problems. We got bigger issues. I think we're going to be okay here. The fact that no one can shoot at us means we can do some funky little, like, annoying back and forth. We are getting some, some high explosive shells being made now as well. So we can also factor that in. I might want to move the machining table over here. This is an area that's always going to have steel, chem fuel, and we could even put a component storage over here, which are all things the machining table wants. It'll save some movement. I kind of like that idea. I'm going to install you over here. Now, a tool cabinet. It has to be there if it's going to reach that. Do that, and then I'll put a... Um, yeah, I'll just... This will be okay. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe there's something else I can do. Um, we might be able to jiggle some things around to make this a little bit more reasonable. But yeah, this is going to be fine. I'm going to put a big comfy chair here and maybe one there as well. We're making chem fuel fairly regularly while we're making these shells. We may as well get some comfort out of it. More beef is rotten away. Uh, Paolo. Oh, you're asleep. I was going to say, why aren't you cooking? I guess sleep is a good reason. Okay, Darcy's done her break. She does have to recover. She was, you know, she would have gotten tired during that. Uh, what time is it? Four o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I would still like the auto door. Just because I don't want people to have to stop and wait here. So I think that's what's going to happen. Now, I think I might double doors this area. Now, the double door, it will work because diagonals count as sealing it in. So I could just put it here. But it'll look a little bit dumb. So I'm going to do this. Even though this is completely unnecessary, it just looks dumb to me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll go... With oh, I forgot there was a caravan here. Might have been able to do a little bit of stuff. Although our stockpile is under control, which is great now. And you can see we took this big dip in value. I mean, some of it was coincided with this enemy raid, but not really. And then, yeah, we traded some stuff away. So when you trade things away, you're trading at a loss. So you will lose some wealth. But again, losing wealth is fine because it lowers the threat that we get, especially if we're using it to convert useless stuff into useful stuff, which mostly this time around was converted into silver. I guess we did get some medicine out of it. Hard to argue with that. And yeah, we have spare medicine in here as well. We don't have a ton of it. Well, 37 in total, but I'm sure we'll need it over here. Fuck. Wasn't prison. So that's still, you're still bitter about that, huh? <laughs> I mean, fair. No one likes to go to prison. Okay, nearly done the research. I think we'll finish the research, install the auto doors, and we'll be ready to go tomorrow. I suppose I could I, I could get away with just putting one auto door in and just dismantling this one short term. I might want a pair here just because sometimes people try to follow us in here and then that'll give us some extra some extra defense. There you go, Paula doing some cooking. Um should we just start on lavish meals? You know what? Let's throw some in here. We'll get even more of a mood buff. It's not as food efficient. But let's keep a stack of lavish meals around for people. Because I think with this... So it, it takes four nutrition to make a lavish meal. A fine meal only takes two nutrition. A fine meal is worth 0.9. Which I think is the same as a simple meal. I think they're both worth 0.9 nutrition. Is a lavish meal worth the same? It's worth one. So you get a little bit more nutrition out of a lavish meal, but not much. It, you certainly, this is certainly much less food efficient, but it is, does give us some great mood buffs. Okay, auto door research done. I'm gonna go, I will finish the recon armor, but it's not gonna be relevant in time for this. Structure, auto door. Now, like any electric device, 
auto doors do have a chance of breaking down and therefore um you can't if you spam them all over the place yeah we really need that steel hauled in here um if you spam them all over the place you will end up uh, having to spend tons of components maintaining them all the time, which is not ideal. Bob, I'm actually going to get your is working on that steel auto door, please. And someone else was walking down here. Honey. Yeah, you're making shells. I'm just going to get you to come over here. Oh, you don't do hauling. You don't either. Darcy doesn't either. No one does hauling. I'm going to get you to prioritize hauling this. Uh, you're consuming a meal. You are hungry. You're going to. I'm going to get you to do a haul job. You're cooking more lavish meals that people want. Yeah. Right. Because this way they can grab a whole stack with the hauling. Much more efficient than people just grabbing a few for a job. And I'm wondering about, like, cranking up the hauling again. At least the metal out there isn't rotting, so I'm not as concerned about bringing in the base super fast. I'm a little concerned. Okay, if this gets to medium, I'm going to be unhappy. So I want to deal with this soon. Oh, these guys here, you can go and uninstall so you can go into the storage. We'll have five. Probably we're not going to do caravans of more than five people. If we do, maybe someone has to sleep on the ground. We'll just leave those for now. Oh, oh what's their quality? Good, good. Okay. Plays with that. Okay, auto door is up. Yeah, it'll look. That's one of the reasons to put the walls up. It just looks better, you know? I'm going to deconstruct this door. I'll probably put an auto door there later. Your cutting stone blocks. We'll tell you what. You know what? Actually, Fob. We're going to put the hall and clean for everyone actually to a three here. There we go. Yeah. And let me reset everyone. So that should get a little bit more hauling to the front. Okay. I think we're ready to go, though. I think that's all the prep work I was going to try. I kind of feel like putting a cut in here in case it goes really badly. <laughs> Keep the drama up. Um, because we're gonna need a few minutes to do it. Because I'm planning on doing a little bit of hit and run. I could just use snipers. Well, Fob is yeah, no, of course Fob is cranky. I could just use some people with sniper rifles, or even the assault rifles, I think we'll have some range. I'm thinking about grabbing everyone. I don't know. I suppose the um the chain shotgun people really don't make any sense. What's their walking speed? 4.7. They're quite speedy. Sorry, who's got the sniper? Oh, it is Fob who's cranky. I don't really want to bring you out then. Or do I? What's your walking speed? Because different people have different speeds depending on their injuries and whatnot. Vort's pretty quick. I wonder if this, the assault rifle has range here. I do have to put a cut in because we're at the time, but let me bring you up here for a sec. Okay, yeah, you do. Good, good, good. So we can just do this with assault rifle stuff. So what the plan is, is this and then run. And actually, at the same time, NG, why don't you man this turret? Paolo, you go and man that too. We'll use the rounds that we've got, because why not? Berg, resting, you're in a pretty bad mood. I'll let you do that as well. And we're going to see what happens next time. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.